I'm Mo. And I'm Aho. And welcome to another story time. Ah. Today's story is... What are we talking about? Uh, oh, we're talking about the time we went and saw This Is Us. We got early access t tickets and we got to see it, what, a month early? Yeah. It was great. So, the way this came about is one of my sister's friends... Emily, shout out to you, um, text me one night after work and she was like, hey, what are you doing on Saturday? And I was like, uh, I'm not sure yet. Why? And she's like, well, because I got early screening tickets to see one, the One Direction movie and I'm not going to go see it, so I knew you're obsessed with them, so I figured I would give it to you. And I was like, freaking out and I was like oh my god like oh my god yes I want them I want them and she was like okay well make sure you don't work and then I'll give them to you and I was like okay so I checked my work schedule I didn't work so I was like holy crap yeah. and then I called Morgan and I was like hey so tell me I'm your best friend in the entire world and I was at I was with my friend Alexis at her boyfriend's house and we were playing, um, we were playing Life with some guy that they were trying to, like, hook me up with. And I was just like, whatever. So we were just, like, sitting there playing Life with this kid I don't know. And I'm like, you're my best friend? What? I was like, what did you do? And Alexis knew instantly. She was like, uh-oh, this is not going to be good. She knew I was going to make a fool of myself in front of this new person who, like, I am supposed to be, like, being a, like, good person in front of. And then she told me. And I was like, I got early screening tickets to One Direction this Saturday. If you're not doing anything, you're coming with me. And I started crying. <laughs> oh my god, I love you so much! And I was like crying, I'm like a crying mess sitting here playing Monopoly at 10 o'clock And then I night. started crying because she was crying. And um, yeah, that that was interesting. That so was... that was like on a Monday, I think? <laughs> yeah. Um, on a Monday. It was a Monday. <laughs> that video is so um, funny. So, that whole week we had to like freak out basically. It sucked. It was like, it was like the same as concert anticipation. And I think it was the same because we knew we were seeing it early. early. We knew we were seeing it before like a lot of people. Like Everyone. it hadn't even, it hadn't premiered because it premiered in London before it premiered in the USA. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, we watched it before the One Direction red carpet event. Like mm -hmm. and we saw it before everyone basically. Oh, it was so great. So that Friday night, I spent the night at your house, mm -hmm. didn't I? And like it was very intense because we I had to be sleep. we had to be there at eight. Yeah, I think it was eight. Which, if you know us, that is rough. <laughs> so we had to be there at eight a.m. So we like couldn't sleep at all. And then the next morning, we literally were just in like sweatshirts and leggings, bun and heads, bun heads, no makeup. And we were like, oh, we have plenty of time. It was like 7.30. Yeah. We were like, we're starving. So we went to McDonald's. And got breakfast. But we, we didn't. breakfast. Was it, I think we were in line at McDonald's and we were like, wait, I bet people are getting there early. early. And that's when we realized that we didn't have reserved seating. And we realized that we weren't going to be the only ones there watching it. But we still assumed that there weren't going to be a lot of people there. And we are like, oh, we're fine. It's 7.30. McDonald's took a freaking forever for whatever reason so we were in line for like 10 minutes so by the time it was like 7.45, 7.50 Granted the movie theater is like two minutes away from the McDonald's that we were at but it was still we were like we need to get there mm -hmm. and then so we decided we weren't going to eat them there so we just put them in my purse and then we were just going to eat them in the theater mm -hmm. which I don't know if you sneak food in the movie theater all the time but I basically don't go to the movie theater without sneaking in like something, something. Um, so we get there, and there is a line so long that <laughs> we were like, oh my god. And on the ticket, we I read it on the way there from McDonald's, it said first come, first serve. And we were so like, we were like, oh, oh my god, god, we're not going to be able to get, get it. To see it. So then we both started freaking out, and like, I got tears in my eyes. I did too. <laughs> we finally pulled into the movie, th finally pulled into a parking spot, and ran, literally ran to the front doors. We got in, and... There were more people inside, and we're like, so many people. Oh my god, we are not gonna have seats. Like, not gonna have seats. So, we like skipped the concession stand altogether. And Mostly because we had McGriddles in my purse. Uh huh. Went to the doors. Well, they were checking bags at the doors, 
because you were seeing it earlier, they had to make sure you didn't have any cameras, laptop, like anything any to record it whatsoever. So they were making you check your phones. But like, she, everything. they took her phone because she had it in her hand. I had my wallet in my hand because you had to like show ID or so. I don't remember. Yeah, I had to show ID because on the ticket it said somebody name. plus guest. Yeah, so we had to like show our ID. So I had my wallet in my hand and I have a Vera Bradley wallet, which means my phone can go in the back of it. So they didn't see my phone. And I just had it open and I was like, hey, here's my ID. And then like I just walked in. And I thought it was so weird that they took her phone. And they didn't check her purse. because They did check my purse. They did? Yes. Oh. I was so nervous. Because we had food in her purse. So we were like, <laughs> oh my god, they're going to take our food. I was like, my McGriddle, I'm so hungry. And he like, I opened it and I was like, please God. Like I shoved it and to it the bottom. And it smelled like McGriddle. I opened it and it smelled like, like McGriddle. And the guy like looked at me and smiled. And I was like, this, there's nothing in there. And I was like, uh, throwing like empty receipt or uh old receipts like over my mcgriddle over the mcgriddles like oh my god like i was freaking out so she got in before me i went in and sat down the only places to sit were right in the, the front very row. front row right in the middle though so it wasn't like terrible yeah so when i got in i was freaking out because i had no idea where she was luckily she saw me come in and she was like hey i'm right here so yeah, i was like down here <laughs> i like went to the front row and like we're being like kind of obnoxious but not really and then i we got our McGriddles out and started eating them, and we thought it was hilarious that we had the McGriddles. So I took my phone out, and we're taking snowfies with our McGriddles, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden this man comes up. He's like, you need to take your phone up there, and he's like going off on me, and I was like, dude, like, I was like, okay, like, I was being nice to him, I mean, it kind of was annoying, so I was trying to be nice to him, but he like escorted me out of the theater. And, and like, I'm like sitting in the front row by myself, like, oh my god. She's not gonna be able to go yeah, back. I really like, thought I wasn't gonna get so many get things to come were back. like going through my head, and I was, and I was like, like freaking out. I was like, okay, but even if she doesn't get it, I'm still gonna watch. No, this. I, and I fully expected her to stay because I was like, I was like, tears were in my eyes when I was walking like to go wherever this man was taking me, and I was like, oh my god, like she's gonna see the movie without me. Like I, it was never like, I hope she comes and gets me. I hope she doesn't watch it. It was like she's gonna see the movie without me. Like I just could not handle the fact of her watching, sitting there like crying over it by herself. <laughs> in the front row so I get out I there so I get out of the theater and there were like all these brown paper bags on the table that they were like checking your IDs and all that at but I just didn't even think anything of it and this woman he was like check your phone in it's like okay so I like took I gave this woman my phone and she gave me a ticket and I was like is this it and I like turned around and the man was gone so I went back in the theater and that, I guess that was all he wanted but he was just such a douche about such it such a douche about it so she came back and I was like so I was just like shaking and like my palms were sweaty I was like so nervous there was like, a girl oh sitting God. behind us and she was freaking annoying mm -hmm. like I can't even remember why she pissed me off so I bad I think she pissed me off because she started talking about Larry she was like a hardcore Larry shipper she was like they're gonna come out in this movie okay mm -hmm. let me get things something straight if you ship Larry great for you don't diss Elen Elunor because you don't think that's like true don't diss other people for thinking ellen elunor is true if you think larry is true sure go for it think that's true but don't smear it in someone else's face don't bring other people down because of what they think is and what lou is actually like dating it's, it's kind of like like a uh, religion honestly like i like i will respect you i will respect your religion the second you try to tell me mine is wrong and shove something down my throat Mm -mm, I'm done. And I feel like that's the Larry shippers that annoy me are the ones that are like, they're real, blah, blah, blah. And like, don't like, tell me, like, for being wrong. Like, El you can El have El your Laura's opinion. Fake. Yeah, like, you can have your opinion. I can have mine. And then we can live in a perfect harmony. You don't have we to don't sit have to here and like try to force feed me Larry, okay? I'll ship them if they become a thing. If they become a thing, like, by, by, their, choice by their choice and say that they are. Otherwise, until then, I'm going to ship Louie with Eleanor. Okay, and so I, I, I rest my face. That's back, all we have to say on that. back to the story. <laughs> um, so the movie started, and it's and it, <laughs> modest management comes up on the, the screen, and everyone just starts booing, and it was the greatest thing. It was like that was like the one moment where I had never felt so close to a, a, a group of people, like literally an entire movie theater full of people, who were all just like boo, and they were all like yeah, laughing with each other. Like it was so funny. Oh, that was like and you could tell moments. there was like a girl that was sitting on like the right side of us and she <laughs> had no idea who modest management was and yeah. she was like why are they booing 
<laughs> and we we're all like, just like giving her dirty lips. Like, why are you here? Like, you don't even go here. <laughs> she doesn't even go here. That early movie screening was for people like us who were just like obsessed and like, yes. Anyways, so, so then, like, we like watched the whole movie and obviously we like cried with each other and it was so good. Laughed with each other and cried some more with each other, but it was literally like if you've seen that movie, you understand. Like, yeah. it's if you've seen it and perfect. you're a fan, like it's you can watch it and not be a fan, and it is still like you know when Harry's mom says like he auditioned for X Factor three years ago or however many years ago it was in the movie, and he has been home. He's been home maybe five days since then, and like that, like you watch things like that and you're like, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, but like his mom, like, yeah, it's that like, whole scene. The funniest part of the movie, I think, was when, or one of the funniest parts, was when they explained, like, explained the brain of a fangirl. I literally love that part so much. So and, like, funny. the whole scene with Harry. Liam's like, so, what, like, what do you do to pull a girl? Oh, He's yeah. Like, throw stuff at her. <laughs> oh, okay, but so then, like, the movie ends, we're all, like, a mess. Like, everybody in that theater was just, like, drained. Like, your day's over. Like, time to go home. It was, like... 10 o'clock like, in the morning. Yeah, 10 in the morning. <laughs> so we actually went to Office Depot because One Direction had just launched a line of school books binders. and folders and binders and all that stuff. So and we wanted to find them. Yep. And we did. We bought, I bought a binder and um, dividers. dividers. And so I feel like there's one more thing, but I think that's actually it. And that's like what we, we like keep. There's a section in there for Moaneho. There's a section in there for like... I don't just anything like we have like yeah traveling like we just we have, have our like, life planned in that binder basically and it's so cute like the pictures in them are so adorable and you don't really see them anywhere anymore so like mm -hmm. that's what I like about it is I can still just open that binder and have that and I mean like in high school we had a lot of One Direction stuff but now we like I don't really like I can't like see it like it just makes me sad to see it because mm -hmm. like I think it was mostly because I didn't get to go to we didn't get to go to where we are tour um, so I think that like just seeing any of it just like made me sad and so I kind of just like tucked it away and didn't want to talk about it or see it. <laughs> but they've already been here. I mean they're in LA right now I think doing night two. I'm getting teary eyed. We need to hurry this up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, this is not comfortable. <laughs> Anyways, they're doing night two of the Rose Bowl tonight, I believe. Making history. Yes. And, um, I don't like know. And then Niall's birthday is tomorrow. Like, I got an update on my phone today. Oh, I guess today because this video will go up today. Yeah, me yeah, too. So, it woke me up this so, morning. So, happy birthday, Niall. Happy birthday, Niall. We love and you. And to my Aunt Mary's birthday. Today. And Lucy. And Kelsey dog. Sprouse. And who else? Bella. 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 Yep. And someone died today. Someone died? Yeah. Oh, Heath Ledger's birthday. But it's actually today, so for people watching this, it was yesterday. No, but someone died. We talked about this in the Messy Foods. Oh, it was Tupac. Tupac was shot <laughs> today. So, oh, rest in peace. Rest in Not peace, Toronto. Tupac. Okay, so I think that that is it for the story time. We we went from One Direction to Tupac, so... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, and if you're not a One Direction fan, you come back on Monday, and we'll probably not talk about them. Maybe. I feel like. We, we actually do really well of not talking about them in every video. Like, you could watch a few of our videos and not even know that we're One Direction fans. But then our One Direction videos, videos are so long and so, so like, packed full of stuff. So, sorry about that. So, and she she cried during that. I don't know if you caught that, but she cried a little bit ago. Sorry. She was wiping her tears when I was talking about the Rose Bowl. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching. We will we see you We love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose my mind Something deep inside me I can't